Take my hand, and together we will vlog. All right, so I just read a Cracked.com article about how the Star Wars prequels were really not that bad concerning considering what you would have gotten if sequels had been made because they kind of explored the storylines of the sequels and all. Basically what it comes down to is that the sequels have already been written, whether it's in comic book, video game, fan films, uh, novels, and other stuff like that, some of which are sanctioned by Lucas Arts and Films, and some of which are not. Uh, but basically what it comes down to is that in the end, why would you expect anything different aside from history just to repeat itself even in the Star Wars universe. There's nothing else for them to come up with aside from either, first off, a bigger, badder weapon than the Death Star will be invented. Um, everything will go to crap and the Empire will still win in the end. Uh, and basically everything will undo that final feeling you, that you get from the end of Return of the Jedi where it's this big party and ooh, we just beat the Empire. Because that was one station and they have a fleet full of people and you still... You didn't defeat them all. You killed the leader. And as pointed out by our own history, killing the leader of a country doesn't always mean that the country full of terrorist cells will stop attacking you. Um, and so they kind of point that out with the Star Wars universe, how in all of the, the sequel stuff written, it basically just rehashes the same story over and over again. Like, the Jedi will start to rise up again, and then somebody will go bad, wipe out all the Jedi... Or crazy stuff like Jedi will just come out of nowhere for us to build the Jedi Force back from. Um, you know, stuff like that. And in the end, history will repeat itself. Wow, two minute video. So anyway, I went to stand-up comedy tonight and I had fun. That was actually my first time to go to stand-up. I know that sounds crazy. I'm like 24 and an actor and I'd never been to a stand-up comedy thing. I, had, I mean, I, I've, I've watched stuff. I had Comedy Central and I would watch, um, I don't remember the what the name of the one on BET was, but I'd watch Last Comic Standing, is that what theirs is called? Um, that channel's not the black slash African American ethnicity or race. I know that that sounded racist and I didn't... I'm gonna reshoot this. Nah. We'll just leave it up for the sake of you bashing me below. You have fun with that. So anyway, my point being, never been to stand-up, and actually I think next week I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> Basically, I think I will say this has prepared me the most of anything else, if not also, of course, acting. But that spur of the moment, having to think of something to say and know what I'm going to say for like five minutes, pretty good. Also, I might not be the funniest on here, but I've got a lot of crazy ideas and crazy stupid stuff I could do. Aside from maybe I'll just stand on stage and like do this. Hey, look, guys, I can make noises with my mouth. <laughs> you know, and somebody will laugh, right? Or boo. I'm kind of trying to weigh out how much of a personal commentary I should make in introducing myself. I mean, like, I am this type of person. Um, there's different styles that I know comedians use. One is kind of the you talk about yourself the whole time. I'm this. Like, I'm an, I'm an aspiring writer or a comic, and I'm up here trying to, you know, just pay my bills, and I work at a place. And, and then you kind of need to comment about life, or it's just, like, completely commenting about life and the things out there. And then the other one is kind of just all at the audience. There's actually a guy at night that kind of did that. He had to just bash the audience the whole time. It's a rough game to play when you isolate your audience. I don't know. The bigger the audience is, I think the better it gets because you isolate one or two people or different people. You kind of rotate who you're isolating through so that people are laughing at each other and then at you who said all these jokes. The other thing I'm kind of unsure of is like accrediting people or saying, like, oh, I didn't really come up with that, but, you know, everybody's like, you know, you always claim that you came up with everything you say. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I kind of rambled on. Star Wars, Star Wars, forget about it. Good night.